Yep. <laughs> wow, so professional. I feel like I'm tarantula cat all of a sudden. <laughs> Today's entire video will be only about the spider that is inside of this small cup. And you may be wondering, how can I make an entire episode about a spider, a tiny spider that is inside of... This was not a good timing, but regardless, you may be wondering, how can I make an entire episode just about the spider, a small spider from this cup? Well, it is not just any spider, it is a trapdoor spider, so you know that this video is gonna be lit. But before we continue, I will turn the lights on because you know they are on a timer and currently it is 8 p.m. So that's why they turned off. But for better video, I want to have them turned on in the background. And the lights over there, those lights turn off in 9 p.m. So they will still be running through the video. Um, anyhow, trapdoor spider. It actually molted like two weeks ago and it is now showing the first signs of coloration. The scientific name is Lephistus species Krabi province. And before I house it in new enclosure, I'm gonna release it into this tub so we can see it up close and I can maybe use the macro lens because it is still tiny, although it is definitely too big for this enclosure now after it, after it molted. And I kind of dislike the fact that it is all the way on top, even though it got the burrow. For some reason the, the spider is all the way on top, so I'm gonna just do it like... I'm gonna try to be quick now. Thankfully it is well behaved and we can actually see it really well, but still I'm gonna poke it with the stick to get it outside inside of this enclosure. And you know, the good thing about raptor spiders, they cannot climb plastics, so I'm pretty safe that it cannot escape. Unless this is some magic trapdoor species that can actually climb the plastics. But I'm pretty sure it is not. Uh, I have a poking stick right here, so let's go. Nice and easy. How are you? Little spider. Ooh. <laughs> you see how fast it is. In this video, not only that I want to uh, record a time lapse of how it will make a burrow, but also I want to do some super slow motion feedings. Man, if this spider could climb the plastics, I would be in big trouble. You see how fast it is. Just super fast. Okay, time to bust the macro lens. Ooh, now we are super close and you can see it very well. You see all the, all the hairs on the legs and the really cool pattern that it got on the legs. It's like orange and then dark almost black and then again orange and then black something like a uh, brahipelma hamori right but check how this is a typical trapdoor spider abdomen you see it is round and almost like a ball shaped and by seeing how small the abdomen is you can conclude that it is freshly molted uh, this abdomen will get bigger after a few few feeding attempts so now back to the oh it is actually moving around. Oh, you see. <laughs> it was digging, you see. <laughs> what I wanted to say, I will take the regular lens and we will try to record a couple of bolts in slow motion. I think that will also be pretty cool to see how the spider can run. Look how fast it is. Huh? <laughs> I can hardly track it. It just teleports from one side to the other. <laughs> yeah, I definitely cannot follow it. Now I will quickly build an enclosure for it. You know, we only need a lot of substrate, just like when you have a burrowing tarantula, the enclosure you provide for a trapdoor spider is basically the same. Also, I think that this species prefers the slope, but I will be able to provide that in bigger enclosure. Or maybe I can do a small slope in here. Yeah, actually I will do that a little bit. If I take the substrate from that side 
and compress on this side. Yeah, something like this could work. So now the spider got the slope. The only concern is I want to record the time lapse with an open enclosure, but I think that spider will be able to go out of the enclosure if it grabs the ventilation holes and then just jumps out. So maybe I'll just put a small piece of plexiglass like right here. I don't know, we will see about that. We still need a starter burrow, so I just do it like this on the side so we will be able to see inside of that burrow. That is the idea at least. Hmm, or maybe better not because, you know, they make a trapdoor and if this side is just a plexiglass, then no, 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 no. I'm gonna fill it up and the starter burrow will actually go like this. Yeah, this should be better, I'm sure of it. Now let's get a spider inside. I'm gonna try to get him to go inside of the cup. Something like this, yeah, a little bit more, ooh, so fast and bolty, oh, there we go, you can climb, right, ooh, he kind of, <laughs> I'm not sure, maybe, ooh, oh, <laughs> that would be tricky if I use my hands to grab the cup and then he did something like that, that would be nasty, come on, go back in. Oh, let's do it again. Can I stay? No. Oh. Hmm. He really doesn't want to cooperate. Go. Stay there. I will close it off. Okay. Now I'm safe to pick it up. Let's get the, the enclosure inside. This is the setup how I will record the time lapse. So in case the spider goes out, it will still stay inside of this tub. Actually, I will water the enclosure a bit first. The substrate looks fairly dry, so that should be better. Now you little fella, please be good and don't... <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> wow, so professional. I feel like I'm tarantula cat all of a sudden. <laughs> Just a slight burn. I feel like she's always afraid of her spiders. I mean, I can relate, I can relate. Sometimes some situations can be really um, scary, yeah. And this is definitely one of those situations. Now, uh, Mr. Spider, Mr. Trapdoor Spider, there's your starter burrow, so let's get down to business. Tomorrow when I come here, I want to see a nice trapdoor over there, okay? That's a deal, can we have a deal? If you do that, you will get one juicy roach, actually a few more over the uh, next few days. I want to get uh, more feeding clips in this video. So, yeah, let's go to a time lapse. Boom! Yes, we got it, but it wasn't that easy because for the first 24 hours the spider didn't move at all, it didn't move a leg. So I was gradually reducing the light, which eventually made the spider move. But then you could see on the video the thing that I predicted happened. The, the trapdoor spider actually climbed. The first thing that he did, he climbed out of the out of his enclosure into this bigger tub. And thankfully he couldn't climb any further. So he was 
uh, doing laps across the across the tub until I came here and spotted that. I returned him inside of that enclosure and I put the glass on top of that, which made the recording even worse because recording through the glass, it's always, you get a bit of image bend no matter how you turn the camera, but it all got worse in the end because the spider made the trapdoor. The trapdoor spider made the trapdoor. And what is the funniest thing? He didn't utilize the pre-made burrow on the slope and you see the slope, I mean, the burrow is now gone because he was walking all across it. And he just decided to make the, um, the fresh hole in this corner, which is great because if you check on the side, here we can see the spot. Where is, is he on top? Oh yeah. Not sure if you can see that, but he is actually on top holding the trap door, holding the lid. You see, these are his back legs. Unfortunately, I have this, this stick. Oh, there he is now. And I'm pretty sure that he doesn't appreciate the amount of light coming into his burrow. So I'm going to turn him that way so it is not exposed to the light that much. And we will, as promised, try to get a feeding clip, but not any type of feeding clip. It will, of course, be in a slow motion. And on top of that, since we got that hole, I'm going to use the second camera to record the spider inside of the burrow. So maybe that will give us some new perspective. I mean, it will give us a new perspective for sure. So. Let me just quickly set up everything. Second camera is set and now I realize that I don't have a tripod. I need to go upstairs to get it. Got him. And all we need now is a roach. I'm gonna give him a relatively small lateralis roach because I want to feed him multiple times in this video. And therefore, uh, by giving him a small roach, he won't be full and we'll be ready for a next feeding clip in like few hours I don't know we will do a time jump for that camera one rolling and let's do this damn that was fast that was so fast let's check it out <coughs> That was awesome. As soon as the roach touched one of those strip wires, the, the spider just shoot out like a bullet straight to the roach and he grabbed it. And the funniest thing is, since he ran kind of far away from, the, away from his lid, he was actually kind of dropping around to reopen it and enter inside. I mean, it happened in a second when you were looking at normal speed, but when we were checking that out in the slow motion, it kind of looked funny. Let me see now how the, the second angle look and if this camera could see anything. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we could only see uh, Trapdoor returning inside because apparently he went back up to the lid. So that's why he was able to shoot out so fast. But for the next feeding clip, I will try to get the, the spider to be on the bottom of his hide. And then maybe we could see how he will turn and bolt straight up. I don't know. That will be interesting to see. So now we need to give him time to, to eat that small roach. But by the way, the music that you could hear during the slow motion is actually a, a song from the new Drone Hunter um, album. Or, or it's not album, it's EP or something. But in case you're wondering why I am telling you that and who the hell is Drone Hunter, you have no idea uh, what band that is. I'm pretty sure that you know at least one of their songs. Maybe, have you heard maybe a song that goes like this? Yeah, ever since I made my first intro for my videos, I've been using their songs. So that is for like, I don't know, five years or maybe even longer. I don't remember when I actually used it. But the funny thing is, in that EP, there is a song that is called Dark Death Brought Me Here because on their original album, on their first album, where you can find the song from my intro, there is a ton of comments where people are commenting, the dark den brought me here. So that's why they named one of their songs like that. <laughs> so I will link their new album, their latest EP in the description, so you can check it out. And I want to see at least 500 comments saying, dark den brought me here again. <laughs> Yeah, that's hilarious. But now let's do a time jump. And this one I'm using a bit bigger roach. And also I can see on this camera that the spider is now down. So let's see what sort of action we will get this time. 
The Roach avoided the trip wires, but... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, and see. Looks like the Trebler Spider is struggling a bit with the Roach. Nice! Now what I'm curious is to see how quick was the reaction for the Spider to move from down to up. He probably took some time to turn and go up. When I dropped the roach, the, the roach moved, uh, the, not the roach, the trapdoor spider moved from the bottom of his height to once again to the lid. And then when the roach approached his lid for the second time, he just BAM! Let's see the slow motion. <laughs> it was a bit more elegant this time. But now you can see the details, how he is grabbing the roach and pulling him from the substrate and the webbing and everything and just pulling him back. On the slow motion you can actually see what is happening, while in real time you have no idea what is just... Pop, pop. <laughs> okay, so one final time jump and I don't remember what I said in previous clip, but this will be the final feeding of this video. So, camera 1 is rolling, camera 2 rolling, let's go! Okay, okay. Oh, it looks like the, the spider is not interested. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> it looks like spider couldn't really figure out from where the roach is coming. And you can see him here in his hide already on the bottom. Okay, okay, let's check out the slow motion, even though I think that he came outside of his hide like three or four times maybe. Okay, this was actually really interesting because you could see that every time the spider would uh, come outside of his hide in the right direction, because the roach would touch a certain trip wire, a web trip wire, but since they are kind of far away from the, from the lead, every time the roach was out of the reach, but the direction was good, which is really interesting. So it means that there is a certain reach to where the spider will grab the prey. As long as he is touching his, his lid with his legs, that is how far he would go, it seemed. He was always touching his lid. So actually really interesting. <laughs> with this, we can end this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page and merch page. If you want to... Eh, no, 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 no. I keep forgetting my lines. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and sometimes on Friday. So, see you again soon. Goodbye.